So now it's time to start working with variables. So what is a variable? A variable can hold a value of a specific type. So a type is a date or an integer, like a whole number or a decimal. And variables can be used to work in mathematical expressions like adding values together or to hold text and combine text. They can be used as part of equations. So variables are used to store information, to participate in calculations, and variables are also part of our uh, SQL and used in stored procedures to um, be part of our parameters. So in order to use a variable in SQL, we need to declare it. We use the declare command, and here we have a couple examples. We put an at sign in front of the variable. So here I have declare at count int, and then semicolon. So I'm saying declare the variable count as an integer. I can also say declare city as a vercare 40 and then give it an initial value of Ann Arbor. So this is a handy way of allowing you to not only declare the variable, but also set it up with a value right off the bat. Vercare again is a data type. It allows you to have multiple um, characters in one string. Again, I'm assuming that you understand what data types are. They're part of an introductory SQL class. If you don't understand data types, I do have information on that in my uh, website, and I have a reference to that in this lesson. To assign a value to a variable, you, you can do that in the declare statement, or you can also use the set command. If I had a variable called height, and I wanted to set it to a value of 10.5, I could say set height equal 10.5, or I could even use an expression, like I want to set weight to a base weight and then multiply it by a value of like 1.05. So here I have an instance where I'm setting my height to a literal value, and then in another case, I am setting my variable to an expression. There's a couple of ways I can use variables in SQL. One way we've seen is just to create a simple expression where I'm multiplying some values. I can use also variables within an SQL select statement. So here I have a variable called person ID and it's participating in the SQL statement as part of the query. In fact, it's part of the criteria where it's going to be the um, business entity ID. So we're going to say where the business entity ID of the person table is going to equal the contents of this person ID variable. That becomes very powerful, especially when we're working with sort of procedures and parameters and we're bringing in values and those values are in the, um, in the variable and then we can make our SQL a little more dynamic. Let's go look at some quick examples of how we use variables um, to further show you how this is done. 